What's going on people? Welcome back to Curtis Shaw TV. The breaking news has just been announced. Mikel Arteta has been announced as the new Arsenal head coach. Um, not the manager, the head coach, um, as they like to call it nowadays. He signed a three and a half year deal with the club. He said it's a huge honour to take over the club and that he wants the club to play fast, free-flowing, attacking football and that the club has to compete for trophies, but he is well aware it will not happen overnight. It was interesting that Raul Sanelli said that we interviewed many top-class candidates, but Mikel Arteta was the one who stood out to all of us. Um, very interesting. You know, you have to wonder who else they interviewed. There was rumours that Vieira and maybe Ancelotti were spoken to. Um, so very interesting um, that Mikel Arteta was given the job ahead of them. And look, everyone's got different opinions on this, but one thing is clear. We have to support Mikel Arteta. If you support Arsenal, you should support Mikel Arteta, whether that was your choice or not. We need the best for this football club. We need to bounce back. And these players have to react to his methods, whether they're in favour of it or not. You know, you have to bounce back and show that you care about the football club. It doesn't always matter that much who your manager is. Once you're on the pitch and you're performing, who your manager is should only have so much of an effect. If he sets you up the right way, encourages you to play good football, then the rest is down to the players. And these players need to take responsibility now for this as well. Um, Arteta is, you know, an ex-Arsenal player, an ex-Arsenal captain. He knows what it means to play for this football club. And I just hope that the philosophies that he's played under, under Arsene Wenger and the management style of Pep Guardiola is something that he takes on board. But questionably is, are these players good enough to play that tiki-taka style of football? You know, that is influential on how good the midfielders are. If you've got players like Xhaka, who at times is a little bit slow on the ball, can you play that style of football? Um, interesting that Danny Ceballos is close to a return. He could be somebody who Arteta looks to build his midfield around in terms of ball-playing midfield. You know, I... I'll be honest with you, this was not the guy I wanted to choose, but now he's here, there's a little bit of excitement. I'm I'm not excited because I know we're going to be better. I'm just excited because we're moving into a different era. Um, a new manager, new staff. Um, the players will have something different to believe in, new coaching styles. And I just hope that it starts um, straight away. Um, it, apparently, Lundberg will continue at the club. Um in some sort of coaching capacity. You know, it's good to keep Freddie at the club. He's a legend. Mikel Arteta, I mean, it's crazy to think that he's the Arsenal manager. You know, he's never managed. But I'm just, you know, I'm trying to be excited and positive. I, I want to be optimistic. And I think the Arsenal fans need to understand the situation we're in and be patient. It doesn't matter if you're uh, appointing Guardiola or Klopp. This is a difficult job because ultimately, no matter how good a manager you are, you need quality players who are performing. And the players haven't been performing and some of them aren't of the quality that we, we require. So I would urge Arsenal fans, be patient. Be patient with Mikel Artel. Um, it's going to take time. It's a project. The, the thing about appointing a young manager who is unproven, they know this is going to take time. And we have to be patient and give him a chance. I want to see the style of football he plays. I want to see how he handles players like Nicolas Pepe, you know, because Sterling and Sané, two wide players, said how influential he was. I want to see a style of football. Are we going to play out from the back? Is it going to be counter-attack? Can he fit Lacazette, Aubameyang, Martinelli, Pepe? Can you get them in the team or most of them? What happens with Meza Ozil? You know, there's been rumours of him going in January. What midfield do you go with? Arteta was a midfielder himself. How does he want them to set up? All these things are going to be so interesting. Um, they're going to announce this coaching staff shortly. That'll be interesting as well, who he brings in. Overall, I'm, I'm trying to be happy. I want to be positive. It's a new era. We've finally got a permanent manager, something we can work towards, and let's build towards the future. The breaking news, Mikel Arteta is now the new Arsenal head coach. Let me know in the comments what you think. How are you feeling? What is your initial reaction? As I said, it wasn't my first pick, but I feel a little bit excited because I want the club to go into a new era and I really want this to work. All the Arsenal fans, you deserve something good to happen at this club, man, because the fans are the ones who go through thick and thin at the end of the day. 
Mikel Arteta, a new Arsenal manager. Keep subscribing to the channel. Thanks for all your great support. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think. Are you happy with this? Drop a thumbs up. There'll be more content throughout the day. Mikel Arteta, the new Arsenal manager. Bless.